Hello, welcome back to Mindy Doing Things. My name is Mindy, I like to do things. Today I am extra tired. I wake up every day at 5 a.m. now and uh, I'm feeling it. Today we're gonna talk about this cool gift bag that I saw at this bookstore in Portland. It's called Powell City of Books, gigantic bookstore, so check it out if you're in the area. Yeah, got this cool gift bag and I had this idea to turn it into a pocket notebook. So if you guys are not familiar with pocket notebooks, um, they're usually like three and a half by five little notebooks. They look like this. Field Notes is a really popular brand. I have them on all sorts of prints. I get the plain ones too, and I just use them for making, I don't know, grocery lists and taking notes and doing cute little doodles like you see here. Anyways, let's get let's get going. Let's make some notebooks. Let's figure it out. Okay, so the first thing that we have to do is deconstruct this. I'm just gonna cut all up in here and get the two large panels free. Okay, so I have just these two big pieces at my disposal now, and since we are making pocket notebooks and they are usually three and a half by five, that means three and a half inches this way and then five inches this way, I'm gonna trim these down to about, we'll call it six inches um, tall. Since this is three and a half, when we open it up, it's gonna be seven inches across, so we'll call it, We'll call it eight inches. I'm gonna cut six by eight strips into this so that way we have the pieces that we need to make the covers and then we also have around an inch of slack or I guess a half an inch of trim around each border to cut everything down to size once we are ready to do that. So this will make more sense when we, when we get into it. Just uh, bear with me. So now I have my four pieces uh, cut out to size, they're six by eights right now, just cut roughly. And we're going to make them just a little bit thicker and a little bit more durable by gluing this. This is just a roll of um, book binding fabric. We're just going to glue some of this to the back of this and all together it will form a more cohesive and durable notebook cover. We're going to use um, pH neutral PVA glue, it says right on the bottle that it's Ideal for book binding and paper projects. I know it's going to be probably a little thick, so we're going to get just a disposable plastic cup, pour some water into it, make a nice little gluey paste, and get going from there. We're going to spread the glue all the way to the edges, and then we're going to place our gift bag cover right on top. I'm gonna put a sheet of paper over this and take a ruler so I can really spread the glue out evenly. Okay, so we have our covers, they're nice and glued, and I want them to stop like curling like this, and so I'm basically just gonna sandwich them in between just pieces of paper, and we're gonna put some weights on them. Just do it the old fashioned way. So I got this sketchbook at the thrift store a while ago. I think I paid like one whole dollar for it, which is pretty rad. So if you guys are looking for just scrap paper, check out the thrift store. You know your girl loves a good thrift store. Anyways, I'm gonna rip out about 12 sheets of this paper and when that gets folded in half for the pocket notebook, it's gonna become 24 pages, which I think is a good amount for a cute little notebook like this. I also have some red tissue paper left over from a previous project that I'm gonna cut a little strip into so that I can use it as a cute buffer between the cover and the sketchbook paper. And now that our notebook covers are nice and flattened, I'm going to trim them down to size. So this is where the fun part begins. I'm going to take a sheet of that sketchbook paper that I had trimmed down and fold it right in half. And along that folded crease, I'm going to get my ruler and put a few dots onto the paper to mark where I'm going to punch holes for the threading to go through. I'm going to mark a hole half an inch 
one inch and then two inches from each edge, so six holes total. Next, I put down a folded up t-shirt and poke holes into that sheet of paper. Once this sheet of paper has those holes in it, you can just use it as a reference for the rest of your sheets of paper and then the cover. Now I'm going to cut about a 15 inch piece of this waxed thread and I'm going to thread the needle. When you thread the needle, you're going to pull the needle down a few inches and then point the needle through the fibers of the thread and pull it tight so that way it'll self tighten and stay in place when you are sewing. If you turn the notebook sideways and count the holes from left to right, one, two, three, four, five, six, I'm going to go out through the fifth hole and then back in through the sixth hole and then back out through the fourth hole and then come back in through the third hole and then I'm going to go back out through the first hole back in through the second hole and then I'm going to tie the ends together. With the pocket notebook folded in half I'm going to set it 3.5 inches away from my blade and give the edges a nice good trim. Then I'm going to go in with my corner rounding tool and round the corners for each page. Don't worry, I'm going to link everything that I used in the description below. And with all of the corners rounded, we are finally done with all of our pocket notebooks. I'm so excited we were able to make four of them because I only bought the one gift bag. So I think they came out super cute and I just can't wait to start using them. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and let me know in the comments if um, you guys want to see me make anything else. I'm like super open to suggestions. I like doing things, so let me know. Alright guys, thanks for watching. See you next time. Bye!